liver spots. I remember, I think you talked about vitamin E helping uh, okay. minimize those. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk about, uh, well, let's real quickly, lysine competes with a, an amino acid that the herpes virus uses called arginine. Lysine helps com by competing with arginine, it kind of robs the, the cold sore viruses of, of the nutrients they need to grow. So using lysine on a regular basis can help minimize the appearance of cold sores, but you don't really want to look at cold sores as being a, a, a cold sore problem as much as it's an immune system problem. Yeah, cold sores are unpleasant and the virus is, is it's an unpleasant virus and it's an unpleasant cosmetic kind of thing but really what you're dealing with when you have cold sores you're dealing with a suppressed immune system the immune system use is the defense system obviously and that's supposed to take care of viruses if you're getting uh, cold sores you'll notice that you're either under some kind of stress or some kind of burden in your life or you've got some kind of nutritional deficiency or digestive problem that's impacting how you absorb nutrients one way or another you've got an impaired digestive system so yeah lysine can help you and it's probably a good idea to take 100 milligrams every day or maybe even 200 milligrams or Loading up on lysine, as soon as you feel the little tingle that tells you you're going to get a cold sore, maybe take uh, 500 milligrams of, of, of lysine every hour or every two hours, really pounding yourself with lysine, sometimes that helps. But really you want to focus on immune system building to keep cold sores at bay. Vitamin C and selenium are two spectacular nutrients for keeping cold sores away. High doses of vitamin C and maybe around 600 micrograms of the OPC selenium. As far as your, your brown spots go, you know, I'm going to talk, uh, we're going to be talking a lot about brown spots. I actually did a post on uh, the truth. By the way, I have a, a website called The Truth with Ben, and that's a uh, that's a Facebook site, not a website, but a Facebook uh, page actually, a Facebook page called The Truth with Ben, where I post skincare tips. So if you're interested in checking that out, it's called The Truth with Ben. It's on Facebook, and uh, it's, that's my skincare page. Many of you know I'm in the skincare business, been in the skincare business for a long time, and uh, I started a page, and I'm going to be blogging on and posting on various skincare issues. Uh, the next post will be up on hopefully today or tomorrow, and it'll be on brown spots actually uh, there's two kinds of brown spots you've got the kind of brown spots that involve pigment and then you've got the kind of brown spots that involve dead cells now the dead cell brown spots are much more troubling because when you have dead cell brown spots and by dead cell I mean cell debris you really have a drainage problem you have a detoxification issue your body's not detoxifying and cleaning waste materials out and the reason this is so significant is because if you have these kinds of things on the skin you got them in the brain and you got them in the heart too and that's really where it's a problem so the skin is kind of a, a barometer or a window of what's happening in your brain and your heart. These brown spots are distinct from pigment. They're called lipofuscin, L-I-P-O-F-U-S-C-I-N, lipofuscin. And this is the kind of brown spots that appear deeper in the skin, and they look kind of like a, a geographical or a map kind of thing. They're sort of spread out. Older people will get them on their hands. This is not the same as pigment brown spots. Pigment brown spots appear as uh, on, more on the surface of the skin, and they look darker. The lipofusion don't look quite as dark. So assuming that you're talking about melanin or pigment and not lipofusion, lipofusion is a completely different issue, the way you want to deal with these kinds of brown spots is help with your adrenal glands. Cortisol, and this is so important, you guys, Pigmentation is connected to stress. Hyperpigmentation is part of the stress response. Do you know your pigment cells are actually nerve cells, and they're actually connected to the brain? They're actually related, not connected to, but related to the brain. And when the brain perceives stress, it will turn on this, the entire stress response in the body, which will cause high blood pressure. It'll cause blood clotting. It'll cause problems with breathing. It'll cause constipation and digestive shutdown, and it will cause hyperpigmentation. So assuming that's what you're talking about, John. Number one, you want to focus on the adrenal glands using zinc, using vitamin C, and keeping your intake of sugars down, uh, keeping your, uh, reducing your intake of refined sugars, and keeping off of that high blood sugar, low blood sugar roller coaster that we're always talking about. Another thing that you could do if you've got uh, pigment problems and adrenal problems that are associated with that is use pregnenolone, 100 milligrams a day. I love pregnenolone, or progesterone can sometimes help, progesterone cream, especially if you're a, a woman and you're dealing with periods problems menstrual problems and you have hyperpigmentation, then you really want to start focusing on progesterone because estrogen is a major stress hormone along with cortisol. And then in addition to all of that, you can use some topical strategies. If you go to the doctor, you'll get something called hydroquinone, which is really nasty stuff. I don't recommend it. Uh, alternatively, topical vitamin C and its fat-soluble, fatty format can help with uh, lightening pigmentation, lightening dark spots. Alpha-hydroxy acids from, from wine or from vinegar or from lemon juice or even just straight glycolic acid 
acid can help. And then retinoic acid, Retin-A, can also be helpful uh, if you use it just a little bit. Retin-A is just a wonderful supplement for the skin. It helps build connective tissue and can also help heal the skin a little bit. Head over to the, uh, the Truth with Ben, uh, and you'll see a post up there on dark spots, brown spots on the skin. Got to let you go. I appreciate your call, John. And I want to see if I can get one more in. Latifa in Missouri, what's up? How you doing? Hi, I'm totally fine. How are you? I'm doing well. we got about a minute. How can I help you? Okay, I am 41. Just found out I am nine weeks pregnant. Congratulations. I also have, thank you so much. Uh, I'm excited. Awesome. But I also first have baby? fibroid tumors. This first is baby? my very first pregnancy ever. Okay, let's get you straight now. Tumors. I didn't think I could have children at all. Okay, but fibroids are a sign of excess estrogen. Estrogen is a birth control, and that's probably why you didn't think you could have, uh, you could have babies. Okay. You know what, Latifa? I want to help you out a lot. I don't want to help you out just in the 30 seconds that we have. Is there any way, I, I hate to do this yet, but I wonder if I get you a call tomorrow. We'll get you first up, and then I'll give you the whole scoop, and we can help a lot of people, too. Can you do that, I would Latifa? love to. I would awesome. love to, yes. Make sure you say, Latifa, make sure you tell our call screener that we, we left you on hold, and I'll get you first up, okay? Okay, thank you so much, Ben. Thank talk you. Congratulations. You we'll talk to you tomorrow. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you, folks. Again, I apologize if I left you on hold. Call uh, tomorrow, and we'll get you first up when we take our calls. Check out my blog, PharmacistBen.com. Check out my homepage, BrightSideBen.com, especially if you want to join the Brightside Ben team. Click on the Join the Team link, or you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. I'm Pharmacist Ben. This has been the Bright Side. We will talk to you all later. Have a wonderful, beautiful day. Bye for now. Self-reliance, survival supplies, survival skill, national experts. Get it all at the only free-to-attend national event exclusively for preppers. This spring in Tulsa, it's the National Preppers and Survivalist Expo, a must-be-there event. Presented by American Living, this massive expo will include special guests. David Mays from Nat Geo's Doomsday Preppers. Plus, GCN Zone Dr. Joel Wallach via live video conference. Here, Dr. Bones, Nurse Amy, and members of the American Pepper Network along with many other leading national experts. Learn life-saving tips, CPR, how to handle crisis situations, walk through a bomb shelter, and much, much more. Two big days, April 5th and 6th at the Tulsa Expo Square in Tulsa, Oklahoma. That's April 5th and 6th. Doors open at 9 a.m. with absolutely free admission. Don't miss the National Preppers and Survivalist Expo, America's largest emergency preparedness event. Get your free tickets now. NPSExpo.com. That's NPSExpo.com. Big business has discovered the preparedness market, and that makes it difficult to know where to go and who to trust. MyPatriotSupply.com is owned and operated by patriots just like you. Has the best prices on storable food, non-GMO seeds, water filtration devices, home canning equipment, survival and self-reliance books, and more. MyPatriotSupply.com has old-fashioned values and the absolute best customer service in the industry. Look for the deal of the day, unique affordable survival. Survival supplies that fit anyone's budget. Get same day shipping on all orders and free shipping on orders over $49. Call 866 229 0927. 866 229 0927. Or visit mypatriotsupply.com for emergency preparedness, self reliance, and food independence. Shop with a name you know and a name you can trust. Before it's time to survive, it's time to prepare. MyPatriotsupply.com.